Relatives of men killed during the construction of the Skyway in the 1950s finally saw their loved ones memorialized during a ceremony and sign unveiling today. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has been following this story for some time now, first introducing Western New York to their efforts more than three years ago. It's something that we worked for all these years. Today was the culmination of the efforts primarily led by three sisters who lost their father, who was among those workers, many of whom were Mohawk, who performed a dangerous job that earned them the name Skywalkers. These iron workers and riveters were a brave bunch who walked beams without harnesses and safety nets, which would be standard in more modern times. In 1955, Mitchell LeClaire, who survived combat in World War II, did not survive a sudden gust of wind that blew him off the bridge deck as he attempted to move a scaffold, falling 90 feet to his death near the intersection of Main and Perry Streets at the site of present-day Canal Side. Today, they were there during a ceremony to honor their father and two other skywalkers who suffered a similar fate during the bridge construction. I keep seeing the birds flying up here, right where you know, my father had fallen, right there. And I know that he's happy. Celeste Coleman never knew her father. She wasn't born until six months after he died, ironically, just days after the Skyway opened. June Mafood was eight and the only one of the three with a clear memory of her father. Oh, he probably would have said, what's the big deal? I'm just going to work, yeah. just doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, taking care of my family and bringing home a paycheck. Originally, they were pushing for the Skyway to be renamed the Fallen Skywalkers Memorial Bridge and had some support for that in the state legislature. For now, though, the only distinction of the sacrifices made by their dad and others is a sign ceremonially designating the intersection of Perry and Maine as Skywalker Way. But the thing of it is right now is it's kind of surreal. It's kind of surreal yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. It's, it's like an out-of-body experience. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.